in Shawtown, Kotowi Park. I hope I'm saying that right. And we're going to check out some vintage baseball along the county roads of Hamilton County. So we're here watching 1866 rules in Strawtown, Indiana. Never heard of Strawtown, Indiana until today. But this is what it would look like back in 1866. You would have guys come out and play a game in an open field with cars driving by, barns on county roads, and you would play a game. But here they, they uh, have to catch the ball with their bare hands. Some of them do wear a kind of a thick leather glove. Uh, nothing like today's mitts and gloves, but these are the rules. So these guys play out here. They've been doing it for quite some time. There's a nice little hit over there. And it's about 80 some degrees, sweltering hot. And these guys are playing in wool jerseys. So God bless them. Everybody has nicknames. This guy's named Jasper. Another sweet little swing there. Could be two. Oh, and he dropped. No, he got him. He got him. All right, here's the White River jersey, 100% wool. Let's see if we can get a better shot of uh, that tag. 100% wool, made in the USA. Hey, who says our clothing is not made in this country anymore? Collar, kind of looks like that old uh, Chicago White Sox jersey of the 1976. Hawkeye, Bronco, Mountain, look to that rally. But that's what it looks like. Six was a transition, so um, some people were. Some people wore it. Either. Okay. This Close. glove. Yeah. It wasn't everybody. Yeah, it was a. I am Jasper. Jasper. Because I'm from Jasper. Okay. <laughs> There's the throw to Jasper. dropping and Jasper with the put out that's that and you leave the glove at the bag outfield red two outfield Bosco outfield Big wheel catcher, Moose third base, Jasper first base, KP two base, second, and throw up the pitcher. Yep. Blues jersey right here. Love how the uh, top is white and the bottom is that navy blue. Here we go. All right. Apparently, uh, you can use a glove here. Check out this bad boy. There's a shot. Ah, oh, he's hustling. That's in Blue Pit. And he scores.
bat, watch the bat. Got him. There you go. Well, Scott, oh, that's the yeah. end. Yeah. No. Oh, it's Whoa. over his head. Come on. Come on, Pokey. You got it. Keep on going. You're good. You're gonna need, they'll throw your foot. Well, Scott. Red. And there's the White River jersey. 100% wool. Perfect for an 80 degree day. It's airworthy. Airworthy. There you go. And these are the bats that they use. A little bit heavier, a little different looking. Definitely heavier. But huge collection of them. All right, here are the White River jerseys. As you can, well, as I can tell you, they are 100% wool. They have the collar. They have the string. And that's what you wear on a hot day like today. Made in the USA. 100% wool, if you can see that. But that's what they did back in the 19th century. So that's the old time baseball glove right there. That's how you call it a ball, which would probably be a heck of a lot better than catch it with your hand. Still not a lot of protection like today's gloves, but evolution of baseball. Oh, that's all right. No, it's a thing. Where's my mitt? Yeah, I got a, can't take your mitt. Yeah, I'm okay right now. That's why I put water on my head too. It's just, there's no, there's no wind. There's no circulation. No, just like in the good old days, you leave your glove on the base. For the next guy to come out and do something with it. Yeah, that kind of stopped in the 50s, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Okay, yeah, I thought I read somewhere that it was a rule in 1955-56, but I should look that up. That's one of those old baseball traditions that went away. Come on, Hawkeye. Track that down. Keep going. Keep on, Moose. Keep on. Did he catch it? No. That's another line. There you go. That's a good rip. Get led. You're up. You're up. You're up. Watch the bat. Watch the bat. Watch the bat. Good job, Red. Oh, there you go, there you go. Hold it, hold it. You're up, you're up. Oh, that's a Gotta hustle. Doesn't look like your typical home plate. <laughs> well, that's it for our look at Vintage Baseball, White River Baseball Club up here in Strawtown, Indiana. 
I guarantee there's a vintage baseball organization near you here in the United States or even Canada. So go find it, play, and have some fun. This is Mark the Ballpark Hunter saying goodbye, take care, be safe. videos, please hit subscribe as I visit another ballpark.